Let's talk about cosmetic surgery. The city of New York, Boricua from the Bronx. <laughs> this is surgery such as liposuction, booty lifts, breast implants, chin extraction, enlargement, shrinkage, whatever, penis enlargement, vaginal tightener, whatever the damn thing that you could think of that is not a necessary surgery that you do simply for the sake of what you perceive as beauty, to look pretty or to look younger, whatever the case may be, right? I am of the mind that these things are not worth the risk. I know that many people go out there and do liposuction and they're fine. I know many people go and get their butts bigger and they're fine. I know that uh, some men inject stuff into their penis to make it fatter and they're fine. I know these things. It happens and, you know, some people are okay. But every so often, someone is not okay. Every so often. And I don't know the numbers. I can't talk to you guys about what the stats are. I don't know. But if it's one person that loses their life or loses feeling or loses quality of life or whatever in the pursuit of of one of these cosmetic surgeries, I believe that is one person too many. So I don't know the numbers. I can't sit here and talk to you. The statistics say, it. as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the numbers are. If, if there are 10 people and only two of them are adversely affected by the surgery, or even one of them, in my mind, that's one too many. Because... This is a thing that's not necessary. It's not like, okay, you, uh, you're you going to have a heart attack if you don't have a, a triple bypass. If you don't go in and have this heart surgery, if you don't do this, you are dead. In that case, I think, yeah, go get the surgery, man. It's worth it, right? It's life-saving surgery. You need it, do it. I get it. And if you die in that surgery... It sucks. It's going to be tragic, but it, it wasn't avoidable. You had no choice. You had to do this. And and again, it sucks. It doesn't make it any less sucky, but it's a situation where you had no choice. You were going to die. So it's worth taking that risk. But because you're uh, you feel fat and you're embarrassed about it or whatever, that, in my mind, my opinion, mind you, this is my opinion, is not worth it. It's not worth it because if you die, then what does it matter if you were fat or not? You're dead. It doesn't matter. Getting that extra fat removed from your stomach or your butt or your your love handles, whatever, it wasn't a necessary thing, right? Maybe for your emotional and mental state, you needed it, you wanted it, I get that, but it's not necessary, Physically for you to survive. It's not something that's going to be required for you to live. So in my opinion, this is not a necessary surgery. That makes it not worth the risk. You get what I'm saying? It's not necessary. Therefore, in my humble opinion, it's not worth taking that risk. I read a story and I didn't really dig into it too heavily or fact check it or really dig into it you know um uh but it was on some reputable source so i assume it's true i, I mean whether or not this particular story is 100 percent true for the purposes of this podcast and this discussion it's not relevant because we know these things do happen i, I really don't want to get into it but i lost a friend uh due to uh cosmetic surgery so i know it happens right i know it happens for the purposes of this podcast we'll talk about this billionaire this guy uh based on this story which again i have not gone and thoroughly fact checked i just want to be clear on that right but this billionaire went to have a procedure to enlarge his uh his penis right 
I don't know if he had a micro penis. I don't know if he had a, a small penis or he had a normal penis. I don't know. I don't know if he had a big penis and he wanted it bigger. I don't know what his story was. But uh, as as I understood it, he wanted to make his penis larger. And he went in for this surgery and uh, allegedly he died. He died from this surgery. Now, let me ask you, unless you have a tiny, tiny, invisible, practically invisible micro penis, where I understand if you know if you can't have sex and stuff and in that kind of situation, I'll kind of be like, I understand why you might want to do this surgery, right? Because you can't be with a woman or you want to or a guy if you want to or whatever the case is right because you I, I mean i don't know it's not something that i've had to deal with now i be real with y'all i don't have a huge freaking penis i don't think my penis even qualifies as big i am just making what one would consider an average penis by whatever standard is out there right would I personally want to be walking around with an 8-inch, 9-inch schlong? Hell yeah, man. Come on, who we bullshitting here? Right? I would like to be walking around with a 9-inch schlong. Uh, I mean, I don't know. What's the comfortable level? <laughs> you know, What's the comfortable level for a lady? May maybe 8. I don't know. I don't want a number that is going to be where I can't engage with a woman because it's too much but you know what i'm saying you guys understand what i'm saying as a man who is at best average in the penile department at best right and on a good day you can always want more and 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 the penis is 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 an area of of envy for men the world over there's a word out there for it it's called penis envy you know um they have all these things and all these whatever. It's an area that men are insecure about, right? Um, especially those who are not blessed with massive penises. And I happen to be one of those normal dudes. So I, I can't relate to the micro penis situation because I don't have a micro penis and I know, uh, how important sex is to me so if i couldn't have sex and uh, you know for whatever reason and i i were in that situation then it might be worth it to me because to me if i can't have sex i might as well be dead if you listen to one of my earlier episodes you hear the story where um we were talking about whether or not I'd take a billion dollars uh, and never have sex again or stay poor and broke but be able to have sex. And I said I will stay poor and broke. I won't give up sex. So if I were in a situation where I couldn't have sex because my penis was too small or, you know, it was like, you know, embarrassing to that degree or I just simply physically couldn't do it. Then it's kind of like, well, you know what? <laughs> At that point, it's like, well, if I die, then who cares? Right? I get that kind of, you know, it's still kind of messed up to say out loud. I know it's still kind of messed up, but I mean, I, I, I would understand that. I didn't know this guy's situation. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't see the details to that degree. They didn't share that, but that's the only scenario where <laughs> Where I would kind of understand going and getting a penis enlargement and taking the risk. Where you kind of say, well, you know what? If I die, I may as well be dead anyway. It doesn't matter. But aside from that, I don't think it's worth the risk. So a guy like me, right, with an average mantle who wishes it was bigger, uh, but it works. It works. It's big enough. You know, with the exception of one woman who I later found out was just trying to hurt me and break my self-esteem because she was jealous. With the exception of this one woman, I've never had a complaint. 
you know, but I am realistic. I know I don't have a huge penis and that's fine. It is what it is. That's not something that you could change without these risky things and it's not worth it. Let's say I go and do it. Okay. So now my penis is, uh, I don't know. Let's say it's like, I'll just come up with an arbitrary number. Now I have an eight inch penis, right? Okay. Well, what if in the surgery something goes wrong and now my penis doesn't get hard anymore? So I have a large penis that doesn't get erect. What if something goes wrong and then I lose feeling in the penis? So now I have a big penis, but I can't feel. What's the point? What's the point? You're doing it for the other people that are looking at it, right? So like when I pull my pants down, somebody look at my penis and be like, wow, that thing is humongous. And then we have sex, but... I don't feel it because, you know, the surgery made my penis numb or cut a nerve or whatever. Or I have this big penis, but it doesn't get hard. Why? Why? It's just, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Or, or let's not forget the other scenario, you die. You die. For what? For ego? For pride? To impress uh, the guys at the gym when I pull my pants down and they might catch a glimpse of my massive penis or or to impress some woman. And remember, I'm married. I'm, you know, speaking as if I were a single guy, right? So I'm a single guy going out there dating women. And when you, you know, you pull your pants down, you want to blow their minds with this massive penis, but it doesn't get hard or you don't feel or you're dead. Why? Just, you know, there's things that you can't control. There's things that you could, I, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I, I know we live in a society where everyone is free to pursue their happiness. And, and I, as I'm one of those people that, you know, I've struggled with weight as far as I can remember. And, you know, I know how uncomfortable I am with a gut. I know how uncomfortable I feel. I know how my confidence is affected. I know, so I can understand that. But I've never fallen prey to to that, to going and getting liposuction or something like that. It just it just doesn't make sense to me. I want my six pack back. I want the abs back. But I want to earn it. I want to get it the right way. And I know, I know, everybody's different, right? I, I don't want to tell people how to live, or but I make this plea to you, right? I just say, just think. Think, is it worth it? Is it worth losing your life? Is it worth it to just gain this minor benefit that really, if you really, really, really think about it, it's not even for you. You're doing it for the outside world, you know, because i mean at the end of the day we're worried about what other people think and we want to look a certain way because we're worried about what other people think that's the truth right um we want to be happy we want to be comfortable in our own skins but and and that's the thing i can't speak for everyone i can only speak for myself and this is why I'm having a bit of a hard time talking about this because I don't want to generalize. I can only speak for myself. So speaking for myself, when I walk into a room and my stomach is sticking out, I am embarrassed because I know I'm being looked at. When I teach a class at the gym and I know my stomach is sticking out, I'm embarrassed because I'm the instructor and I'm on stage and I'm supposed to be the example and I'm looking at you as my participants and I'm out here with this gut. That to me is embarrassing. It's humiliating. I'm worried about what other people think. So it's not even for me. So I am risking my life to go do this surgery and it's not even for me. It's not even about me. So you know what? No, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. When I make love to a woman, in this case my wife, she enjoys it. I enjoy it. She feels it. I feel it. 
So why the fuck am I worried about having a bigger fucking dick because of some societal bullshit? That's what I'm talking about, y'all. This is why. And again, this is my perspective, my experience, my my stuff, which I don't want to generalize or project to people. But really, why do we do it? Because we want to look good. And for what? It's not we're not staying home hiding, staring at ourselves in a mirror. And I'm sure there are some people like that. And again, this is why I'm not generalizing. But speaking as myself, my own experience, I don't want this six pack just to stand there staring at myself in the mirror and be like, oh, I did this for me. This is no motherfucker. I want to go out to the clubs like I used to. I want to go to the pool. I want to go to the beach. I want people to look at me and be like, God damn, that motherfucker looks good. Whatever you call that, whatever you call that, but that is not important enough to me to risk my life. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Whatever reasons we have, we have them. They're our own reasons. I don't know what yours are. I I don't know. And I don't pretend to know. I don't know. But you have to ask yourself, is whatever that reason is, whatever it is, is it worth my life? Is it worth some form of physical problem? Is it worth a penis that no longer feels? Is it worth a nipple that loses sensitivity? Is it worth the risk? That's the question I ask. And from my perspective, the benefits that may come from it are not worth the risk. Not In a situation like this and not unless it was some life-threatening stuff. And again, I am not telling anyone how to live. I am just sharing my opinion based on the costs and risks compared to the benefits. I tried my best to share my views without being offensive to anyone or hurting anyone's feelings. Y'all know that it's all love from here. I speak from my perspective. I speak from my own views, what I, uh, my lived experience, you know, um, my own insecurities, my own issues to try and help clarify, talk about these things. I just want to take a moment to say rest in peace to my, to my old friend. You're gone too soon. It was completely avoidable. Uh, He's such a knucklehead. And, you know, we all love you. And we'll miss you. We'll miss you. You are listening to the NYC Talking Podcast. www.nyctalking.com Please like NYC Talking on Facebook. Please follow Angel R. Talk on Twitter and Instagram. We are NYC Talking, the realest lifestyle blog ever. Thanks for listening.